Today, those on hand to purchase relics from the Roll Arena know that not only is the skating rink part of Green Bay history, but so is the woman behind the skates. Local 5's Rhonda Fox has more. It wasn't the skating that prompted Mary to open the doors to the Roll Arena. I guess we never thought of longevity or whatever. We really wanted to have fun. And when the roller rink first opened in 1972, it cost about 25 cents to walk through these doors and about 15 cents for a pair of these. But people kept coming back because there's something about Mary. But she's always so nice. I mean, we, we, you know, I spent a lot of time here. She remembered my face. Just as a very nice fellow, I think he started coming in with the church group and just continued having fun skating. Very nice, very loving lady. I think now I am feeling so grateful that our family has been blessed with the Roll Arena family. It's been kind of overwhelming. Things happen so fast and there's been so many memories that right now I'm putting myself in God's hands and we'll just continue having a good life. When these doors finally do close, Mary has already planned to hit the ground skating. Finishing all the projects I've started, I am very involved in our community with the Green Bay Antique Study Club, the Green Bay De Pere Antiquarian, St. Francis Xavier Cathedral. Um, we have five grandchildren. At Christmas time, two of my granddaughters announced they're pregnant. That maybe was a little bit of a sign to me from God that it's okay to marry, to let go. Reporting in Green Bay, Rhonda Fox, Local 5 News. Friday is the last day to visit the Roll Arena. Mary and some of her former skaters and students will skate one last time.